How close did you come to losing Michael Jordan at Nike? Every day. Every day was a challenge. Uh, I was the stranger when I first met him. I, I never met him. Um, George Routing introduced me, and I knew George very well at that time. He was my best man at the, our wedding. But since that, that first day, there was some sort of a connection that I you can't explain. People make, you know, they did this. It was like karma or something. I can't explain it to you. But every day from the first day on for the next three and a half months in pursuing him was a chore because the, the idea for me was to help convince him to believe in this young company that might do something that they've never done before. That was the chore. And Michael was Michael, you know, 21, 22 years old. He is, now, you know, 40 something. By, by, he had his own mind, he had his idea of what he wanted to do, and he didn't want to go with Nike, that's for sure. So it was my greatest journey. And, you know, I've had a few of these things. But the other things basically in my life, Dan, I controlled whether it was that first all-star game, whether it was paying the coaches, it was seri you know, seriously my idea. This was an idea that was given to me, the opportunity by you know Phil Knight and Rob Strasser and Peter Moore, especially Rob and, and Phil. They gave me the okay. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would ever be involved on the professional side and, and recruiting a player that was going to be the signature of Nike forever. But I didn't know if it was more about recruiting Michael's mom in the movie, uh, played by Viola Davis, or was it more about recruiting Michael to Nike? Michael was always Michael. But I knew that family, not specifically Mrs. Jordan at that time, but family was what guided Michael. So after the first meeting, I knew that the only way to Michael's heart was we got to convince his family I didn't assume, and I, I don't want to think anyone is there. I think that I said, we're going to go from this. I just said, I, I knew family was big in that short period of time. And Michael Jordan really only listened to family and then mom. There's no question. Did M Nike make Michael? Did Michael make Nike? <laughs> Let me just say this. I have no idea what history, neither do you, Mr. Patrick. But without Michael Jordan, he made everything. And he made you, you people in, in the media talk about the GOAT, the best player and all that. I'm not going to involve with that crap because I believe personally Simon Carr, that the, the GOAT is the guy who's the best player in the generation he plays. So let's get past the GOAT stuff. Okay. Let's get past Michael with LeBron and, you know, and this guy and that guy. But what he was the GOAT of for Nike, start with Nike, but the rest of the world was marketing. But what he did, he opened up a billion trillion dollar industry for people that he never met. And who are they? The athletes, and particularly the minority athletes of today's society. He opened up a venue that he could be a part ownership in. 